I'm gonna make a run for the keys while he's still digging. No! You can't! You saw that guy! He's a maniac! He was chopping something up and what if that was you? He could be chopping you into pieces and you'd be all bloody and it wouldn't be pretty anymore! <laughs> Let's not get hysterical. If I don't make it back. Oh, darling. I want you to run to the nearest town. You hear me? It's 40 miles away. Your adrenaline will kick in. Besides, you're in pretty good shape. Didn't you learn about diffusion and bomb technique as an astro cadet in the Galactic Melodic Force Rangers? Yes, I did. Well, so what's the problem? Remember that black hole? I do. I think it affected a part of my brain that allows me to diffuse bombs. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Max. I had no idea. It may have affected other parts of my memory as well. Right. Yeah. I do hope you have a green thumb. In fact, I do. My gram-gram was a florist. But a jackalope? It's a bunny. With big horns. <laughs> yeah, big bunny with horns. <laughs> yeah, I like the way that sounds. Yeah. It makes one think twice about waking up Easter morning and, and, and hunting for them eggs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, now don't be taking my eggs. Hey. Pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find one. What's that? Let's go find some jackalopes. Sounds like fun. They don't exist. Maybe. But what you just shared with me was pretty real. And I believed it. And don't think it would hurt none. And maybe we don't find anything. Nothing in our bags. You can go back. It seems right. Go back to the same place. Walk the same steps. It might free your heart. You know, free your mind. <laughs> Do something like that. Is it super expensive? Well, you get what you pay for, huh? I'm not trying to be cheap. I, I just, I'm not, I'm not a cheap guy. It's just, she doesn't need the work. She's perfect the way she is. I want her to feel young again and, and perfect. Mm. Young. And perfect. Mm. How much you thinking? $400. $400. Well, we're not, we're not married yet. Anything after $400 for a Christmas present, then it's like the next level. And I'll, I'll, $420 is, I'll, I'll go there. I love her that much. You're here for effect. I need the appearance of muscle. Oh, it's not even loaded. Just for effect. I'm gonna put it right in here. Tuck it in. Yeah. Listen, you get the rest of it when you get me back up here. Out that door, standing right here, rest of it. Square? Oh, and remember, don't say a word. Let me do all the talking. Uh, hi, I'm Jerry Angelo, and this is my dad, Joe Angelo. And I got Howdy. to direct my dad for the first time. Do you want to say anything? OK. Um, Put it there, pal. Put it there. Put it there, Put pal. it there. <laughs> oh, would you rather swing on a star? No, you're overdoing it now. No, come on, come on, say no, it. No, come on, no, Because, no, hey, no. when I have my kids and like that, and I get older, and I want them to say, and my dad does this, like, he goes like, Oh, would you rather swing on a star? Come on, a star. Go. Come on. Oh. this guy can sing. And we, I, I have it on, like, a karaoke. I swear to God, I won't put it on MTV. Go. Oh, would you like to swing on a star? Carry moonbeams home in a jar And be better off than you are Or would you rather be a What? Mule <laughs> A mule is an animal with long funny ears 
He snaps up at anything he hears. His back is brawly and his knees are weak. He's just plain stupid with a stubborn streak. And by the way, if you hate to go to school, you may grow up to be a mule. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Come on, give me some. There's this doorknob. <laughs> Little bit like you. It's a true story. <laughs> Woo! And there was this young, handsome prince. Dude. Are you talking to the doorknob? Why? It is filled with a compressed mutagenic gas called phonomorphosis. It will transform every man, woman, and child on the planet Mellotron into a mindless army of plant creatures. The universe is mine. You maniac. Run! 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 I'm going to prune your posterior. I hardly think so. Is that? Yes, doll. It's a handbag. And it is filled with the dehydrated spores of the Sandigious Night Night plant of Mylar 12. This is just as good a place as any. Get him out. What are you waiting for, huh? Christmas morning? Take a good look at this piece of dirt. He is not Santa Claus, and he is not God. This is fake. This is fake. <clears throat> this beard is fake. Look at it. Look at it! It's not real. These red clothes are not real. It's all a hoax. It's a costume. You can buy it for Halloween. He rented it from a costume store for Christmas, so he could prance around being jolly, pretending to be someone he wished he could be that he's not. Now, take Santa out of the fucking trunk and bring him over there. Wow, babe. It's so... Mary. It makes me feel better. Do they call you for that photo shoot today? Babe? Not yet. Can you get a Christmas tree tomorrow? Sure, babe. Can you get a big one this year, please? Paul? What? Can I sleep with you? Okay. When 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 I say go. Go? We we tres need to make as much noise as we can and scare the living daylights out of him so that he runs out of his pequeno casita and then I can give you a ten dollars Aw, does my babe need glasses? No. Did you turn into a camel when I wasn't looking? <laughs> Stupid Mexican donkey. No speak English? Huh? If, if you die, oh, and then I have to hollow all that, that junko myself, amigo, 
don't think for one second I'm gonna forget. And if I die, and I will die under those circumstances, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna kick your ass. All right. That's cute, babe. Room three is presently occupied. Really? I prefer room three. It's a thing. I'm a writer. I write horror novels. Perhaps you heard of me? James T. England? The Black Rat? The Fall? Dead Kelly? You've never heard of me. Well, I wrote my first bestseller in room 333 of the Peoria Rest Inn. I was born on March 3rd. And I've won two Pulitzers. Um... That's... Uh, spoon. We you can, want a spoon? Yes, we can spoon all night long. Wow. We can talk. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? Um, let's talk about a, a relationship. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good one. I'm serious. How about we can watch a, a movie? We can watch like a, a romantic comedy or something about love. And I can I can feed you little chocolates. No, 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 Max. We can watch a romantic comedy. No, 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 no. Delia. Talia. <laughs> Look, we can do this again sometime. Call me, but just not like tomorrow or anything, you know what I mean? You. Uh Jesus. Jesus. Sure. I need you to take the stuff o out of the sack o. See. Si. Fork. Okay. Mm mm mm. Hmm. Mm. Stupid fucking Mexicans. You know, forget it. Forget it. You know, just uh, watch me and just wait till I say go. Go. Ta da! So honey, was that the biggest tree you could find? We're just gonna throw it out next week anyway. The really stupid tall ones were like a hundred bucks. I got the Swedish guy to sell me this one for 50. Yeah, you get what you pay for. as I could be. I'm not the size of an acorn who greet me tomorrow morning, I'm sure. <laughs> you were running. You were running. You were like a jackrabbit. Just like a jackrabbit.